hello everyone welcome back we're doing a worksheet on standard forms so this worksheet contains almost all the questions from past papers related to this topic going from 2019 backwards all right so we are let's start with question number one which is actually a pretty simple question which says uh, let's start with the first part it says b over here it should be actually a. Anyway, write the following as an ordinary number. So 2.8 into 10 power 2. And we know 10 power 2 is simply 100. So this gives us 280. And next up is part A which gives us 4.8 into 10 power minus 3. So this becomes 4.82 divided by 10 power 3 which is 4.82 divided by 1000 and this gives us 0 0.00482 answer for the second part of question 1 ok next up is question number 2 which says write the following in standard form so question 2 just a second ok question 2 part A so we have to write to 2016 in standard form standard form means the decimal from here should move after the first non-zero number which is 2 so we need to move the decimal three places to the left so when we move the decimal to the left three places we add 3 to the power of 10 for part B we have 2760000 this decimal here needs to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we write 2.76 into 10 power positive 6. Then we have 72,000. So this decimal here is moving 4 places to the left. So 7.2 times 10 power 4. Alright. D is same. E is the same. Let's do part F now. Part F is 0 0.00527. So we're moving the decimal 1, 2, 3 places to the right. So this becomes 5.27 into 10 power now minus 3, not plus 3 because we're moving decimal to the right. Similarly, let's do part K, which is 0 0.00813. We have to move decimal to the first no after the first non-zero digit. So this becomes 8.13 again times 10 power minus 3 because we moved the decimal three places to the right. And then we have M52 million. So million has six zeros. So now we are moving this decimal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places to the right. So it becomes 5.2 into 10 power positive 7. For question number 3, honestly all you need to do is learn how to use the calculator right. Especially, especially for a one mark question, just enter this in your calculator and you'll get the answer. Just in case you're asked to show working for questions like part A, which is 6.4 into 10 power 7 plus 9.6 into 10 power 6. We're asked to show the working, so we know we can take common whatever is common between these two, and that's 10 power 6. So this becomes 64 because 10 was left with uh, 10 power 7 when we uh, took 10 power 6 common plus 9.6 so this becomes 10 power 6 bracket 64 plus 9.6 is 73.6 so we have to write this in standard form which means we have to move decimal one place to the left and the power will get plus 1 added so 10 7.36 into 10 power 7 this is how you do it without a calculator but you will have your calculator and you're allowed to use it let's just do part C as well without a calculator okay part C is 
is 1.2 times 10 power 40 plus 1.2 times 10 power 41 so 1.2 times 10 power 40 is common we we're left with 1 plus 10 only which is 11 times 1.2 times 10 power 40 so what is 11 times 1.2 that's 13.2 into 10 power 40 but we have to move decimal one place to the left so the power of 10 gets one added to it so 1.32 times 10 power 41 all right uh, let's try let's try I think the rest of them are pretty much the same so I won't be using doing those so like I said all you need to do is insert these values in the calculator to get the answer directly or if in one off case the question asks for any working you will show this type of working will be and this even there's no working needed here unless you want to change 2 into 5.5 to 11 first and then times 10 power 4 and then change it to 1.1 times 10 power 5 but I don't think it's required just simply enter the values in the calculator and you'll be good to go question number 4 question 4 um, here are some numbers written in standard form from these number part A write down the largest number so the largest number should have the biggest power of 10 which is 10 power 6 so this is the answer for part A and part B is find the smallest number so that should be the smallest power of n of 10 so that would be 10 power minus 3 yes this would be the answer 5.21 times 10 power minus 3 okay question number 5 find p times q simply enter multiply these values enter these values in your calculator you will get this answer and similarly for part B divide Q and P in your calculator and you will get this answer ok part even for part 6 all you need to do is substitute these values in the calculator and you will get the answer same for uh, question 7 and your calculators will already give you the answer in standard form most probably here for part B you will get 0 0.125 as the answer and now you'll have to write this in standard form so you'll have to de move the decimal one place to the right and when we move the decimal one place to the right the powers get subtracted by one all right part for part 7 the answer you will get in your calculator will be 1991 yes and then you'll have to write it in uh, as a standard form so you'll you're moving the decimal three places to the left so we'll add power 3 to 10 okay let's do 8 now since it's a word problem type question question 8 okay so question 8 says there were 3.08 into 10 power 5 passengers that made a journey in 2018 this was a 12 percent increase in the number of passengers that made this journey in 2017 so 3.08 is a 12 percent increase so we can write 112 uh, with it and then find the number of passengers that made this journey in 2017 uh, so the original number of passengers are always 100 percent and we need to find the value for that so this is 3 point uh, into 10 power 5 so now to find x I'll multiply 3.08 into 10 power 5 times 100 over 112 so we get 3.08 times 10 power 5 times 100 
divided by 112. So that is 2, wait, I've probably made a mistake somewhere. Okay, so I read the question wrong. This was a 12% decrease, not increase. So 12% decrease means 100 minus 12, which is 88. So we get 88 here. Now let's see if we get the right answer. 3.08 times 10 power 5 times 100 divided by 88. This gives us, yes, 35 and 4 zeros. We have to write it in standard form. So we write 30.5 into 10 power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We've moved uh, the decimal 5 places to the left. So power of 10 will get added by 5. So 10 power 5. Next up is question number 9 which is each apple tree produces 16 boxes of apples each year one box contains 18 kg of apples calculate the total mass of apples produced by 720 trees in one year all right so we have 720 trees and one bo uh, and each apple tree produces 16 boxes of apples so times 16 boxes per year and one box contains 18 kgs of apples. So calculate the total mass of the apples produced by 720 trees. Let's see what do we get here. 720 times 16 times 18. This gives us 207360. Now, now right now the decimal is over here. Move it uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places to the right. which becomes times 10 power 5. Question number 10. Question 10. The number of spectators at the 2010 World Cup match between Argentina and Mexico was 8200 correct to the nearest thousand. If each spectator is paid 2600 rand to attend the game, what is the upper bound for the total amount paid? Give your answer in standard form. All right. So it's an upper bound, lower bound question. So 8,200,000 to correct to the nearest thousand. So when we plus 500 uh, to it, we first divide thousand with two, we get 500. When we plus 500 to it, we get the upper bound. And we when we subtract 500 from it, we get the lower bound so what do we need again we need if each spectator is paid 2600 rand to attend the game 2600 times the upper bound for the number of spectators that is this amount multiply these values 2600 times 8 to 500 this gives me 2 1 Okay, yikes, again I misread the question. The question was find the lower bound. So I'll write the lower bound here, which is 81500. 81500 times 2600. This is 2119 and then 50s. Now in standard form, this will become 2.1 times 10 power how many units did we move to the left 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so since we move left power will get added so 2.199 times 10 power 8 okay. next is question number 11 a hummingbird beats it wing 24 times per second so a calculate the number of times the hummingbird beats its wing in one hour so I'll make ratio so 24 times in one second so number of times in one hour in one hour we have 3600 seconds simply cross multiply and we will get 24 times 3600 this gives us eight 
six four double zero and in the next part we have to write this answer in standard form so eight point six four times ten power one two three four we move the unit uh, decimal four places to the right so ten will get four power plus four power okay question number twelve Uh, 64 me uh, change 64 meters into millimeters give your answer in standard form so 64 meter square into uh, millimeter square so we multiply it with how hundred thousand twice Sorry, not thou ten thousand uh, hundred thousand one meters is simply thousand millimeters. So times thousand twice. Why twice? Because it's meter square to millimeter square. So we'll do sixty four times thousand times thousand. So this will become six four one two three four five six. Right now decimal is here. We have to move it one two three four five six seven places to the left. When we move decimal to the left, the power gets added. So this is the answer for part twelve, part thirteen, which is one second is ten power six microseconds. Change three times 10 power 13 microseconds into minutes give your answer in standard form so seconds to microseconds so one second uh, corresponds to 10 power 6 seconds change 3 times 10 power 13 microseconds to minutes so first we'll change them to seconds and then divide them with 60 so x equals 3 into 10 power 13 we're cross multiplying and then dividing we get this 3 into 10 power 4 5 6 7 power 7 and this answer is in seconds next we divide this with 60 to get answers in minutes so 3 times 10 power 7 divided by 60 is 5 with five zeros and in standard form this becomes five times ten power five simply ten power five okay question 14 film cost four million and ninety three thousand dollars to make write this amount in standard form now numbers like these confuse me so what i like to do is write four million million has six zeros four million and ninety three thousand so i'll add ninety three thousand to it so this would be ninety three thousand so this will become four zero nine three and then zero 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 next give your answer in standard form so this decimal needs to move one two three four five six units to the left which means power of 10 will get added by six so next up is question 15 which is the distance from hong kong to johannesburg is 10712 kilometers plane uses fuel at the rate of 1 liters for every 59 meters calculate the number of liters of fuel used for the journey from Johannesburg to Hong Kong give your answer in standard form okay so the plane uses 1 liters for 59 meters so how many liters will it take for uh, 1071200 meters I've changed that into meters by multiplying it with thousand so 1071200 meters now cross multiply and x will be equals to one zero seven one two zero 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 divided by fifty nine 
वन ज़ीरो सेवन वन टू ज़ीरो 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 डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टी नाइन दिस गिवस आस वन एट वन फाइव फाइव नाइन पॉइंट थ्री टू टू सो इन सिग्निफिकेंट इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वी हैव टू मूव दिस डेसिमल फाइव प्लेसेस टू द राइट सो वन पॉइंट एट टू टाइम्स टेन पावर फाइव आई एव राउंडेड दिस ऑफ टू थ्री सिग्निफिकेंट फिगर्स सो दिस बिकम्स वन पॉइंट एट टू बिकॉज फाइव गिवस वन टू द वन बिफोर इट ऑल राइट ओके नेक्स्ट अप इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन question 16 the distance from sun can be measured in astronomical units au earth is at uh, earth is a distance of 1 au from the sun 1 au is approximately this many kilometers the table shows the distance from sun okay complete the table so for part a we have 1 represents 1.496 into 10 power 8 kilometers and this is au so 1 astronomical unit is equals to 1.496 times 10 power 8 kilometers so 3.87 au will be sorry 0.37 Zero point three eight seven AU will be how many kilometers? So simply cross multiply and X will be equals to one point four nine six times ten power eight times zero point three eight seven. So we should get this answer. So I leave that for you to calculate. Okay, for then this. You'll write the value of x here. Okay. Next, we need y. So for that, we'll do one AU represents one point four nine six into ten power eight. So how many AUs in seven point seven nine into ten power eight kilometers? So cross multiply. find the value of y and you should get this answer and then in the last part let's call that c again 1 au is 1.496 into 10 power 8 then z au should be equals to 5.91 into 10 power 9 cross multiply get your answer that should be 39.5 according to these answers Okay so this was part A now part B which is okay uh light travels at across approximately 300000 kilometers per second so this is the speed of light how long does it take the light to travel from sun to earth so do we have the distance from sun to earth we do so we use the formula uh, time is equals to distance over speed so distance is 1.496 into 10 power 8 uh kilometers and the speed is 300000 kilometers per second so we'll get this answer in seconds when we divide it 1.49 into 10 power 8 Divided by three hundred thousand, which gives us four ninety six. Sorry, four yes, four ninety six point six six. All right, so I messed up somewhere entering the values in the calculator, so I did it again, and I got the right answer this time, which is four nine. Eight point six 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 six. So this becomes four ninety nine as the rounded off answer. This was B one. Next up is B two, which is how long does it 
take light to travel from Sun to Pluto so we know the distance from Sun to Pluto time equals distance over speed and speed was 300,000 kilometer per second and now we have to give our answer in minutes so this answer will come in seconds 5.91 times 10 power 9 divided by 300,000 which gives 19700 and then uh, this is in seconds divided with 60 to get the answer in minutes which is 328.33333 so rounded off answer correct to three significant figures is this all right part c one light year is at a distant uh, one light year is the distance that light travels in one year in 365 days how far is one light year in kilometers give your answer in standard form so uh, how far is one light year in kilometers so how much distance is covered by the light in 365 days so we know that the light covers 300,000 kilometers in one second so how much time is covered in 365 days so first change 365 days into seconds then we'll write that value over here so 365 days has 24 hours then tw 60 minutes and 60 seconds so 365 times 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds is this huge value three one five three six zero 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 now we'll cross multiply and we'll get uh, this answer times three hundred thousand which gives us nine point four six into ten power twelve so this is the answer for part C uh, so part D is how many AU are equals to one light year so this was in kilometers and we know 1 AU equals 1.496 into 10 power 8 kilometers so 9.46 into 10 power 12 uh, kilometers will be equals to how many AU this is AU this is kilometers so we'll simply divide these two X equals 9.46 into 10 power 12 over 1.496 into 10 power 8 so answer divided by 1.496 into 10 power 8 which gives us 6 yes which gives us 6 3 2 3 5 point some values point uh, 2, 9, etc. So I'll round this off to 3 significant figures. This becomes 6, 3, 2, 0, 0. So this is the answer for part D. So we're done with this worksheet. I'll see you later. Bye.